I'm finally here in Belgrade, the capital of Serbia. This city has over 7,000 years of history and it's known for its nightlife, its beautiful scenery, and this is where the Danube River meets the Sava River. Now, here I am with my guide, Simonida, and she's gonna explain to us where we are and explain to us a little bit more about the city. We are standing here at the top of the Kalamegdan Fortress, one of the most important spots here in Belgrade. You see, we say one fortress, but actually it represents a wonderful mixture of the history of many fortresses. We can see the unique position of this town or the very place of confluence of two rivers of the Danube, the second largest river in Europe, and the river Sava. This is where we say the Danube falls in love with Sava. Behind me there is a part of Old Town, the city center of Belgrade. You see the fortress is located so close to the main street of Belgrade. There across there is a war island, pure nature, and more across the biggest municipality in Belgrade, New Belgrade. Ada Lake, a beautiful oasis of Belgrade, less than 10 minutes away from the downtown of Belgrade by car. The lake itself is an artificial lake made from the river Sava during the 60s. The lake has 7.5 kilometers in diameter. The best part about Ada Lake is that it's free. We're here at Easter service at St. Sava's Church, one of the main things to see here in Belgrade. When it's completed within the next 10 years, it will be the second largest Orthodox church in the world. This is Tosh Maiden Park, one of the most beautiful parks in downtown Belgrade. There are many interesting things to see here. Fountains, sculptures, two Orthodox churches, one Serbian and one Russian, and next to it, ruins of the NATO bombing. I'm finally gonna get the chance to try Burek in one of the best places to try in downtown Belgrade. It's called Toma. Burek is a dough filled with either cheese or spinach or meat or even apples. It could be eaten even empty. I ordered two different types of Burek. A spinach and cheese and a regular cheese. And when you eat burek, you have to try it with some yogurt. It's traditional. Okay, let's try it. This is Republic Square, the heart of Beograd. And behind us, we have a monument dedicated to Prince Michael Obrenovich. When you're gonna meet up with friends here in Beograd, you usually say, meet me at the horse's place, or the horse place, and that's right here. In Skadalia, which is traditionally the Bohemian area since the 19th century. Right here, anyone? Yeah. Let's go. So when you sit down at any of these restaurants, ask your waiter what's the specialty rakia because each place makes their own and they're all different. These were quince fruit, they also have plum, apricot and a variety of others. Guys, when you come to Belgrade, one thing you have to try is butsko, it's pizza with salad. It's totally legit. When you're in Belgrade, to order pizza with a salad, believe me, and it's great. Zemun. Historically, this was a separate town from Belgrade, but during the 20th century, it was incorporated into the city. This is the main square, and today it's a little quiet because it is Easter Sunday, but from here, we can go on to explore the market, eat at one of the local fish restaurants, get great views of the Danube River, and when you're done exploring this area, you can go up to the upper town and see Gardosh Tower. People that come here enjoy its slower pace of life, and its beautiful romantic architecture. Two, three, four, 